on the carbon car systems guys so today we are releasing this for everyone in australia and we are actually going to be shipping this around the world as well this is a new crash cam or dash camera for your car and it is a really really high quality dash camera and we are going to be shipping this direct to public so we are the importer of this and the reason for that is we really wanted to get a dash camera out there for you guys that had all the features that everyone wants without that super expensive price tag of um, you know some of the ones that are currently on the market in Australia so this type of dash camera uh, we're gonna go through quickly today it's a front and rear dash camera but you can use it as a front only dash camera it is a really stylish cylinder shape it has some nice buttons on the back it does have built-in Wi-Fi with an app as well and you can actually download and share footage and check footage directly in your car rather than pulling the SD card out all the time. It is full HD. It has the GPS add-on as well if you want to do overlay on your maps on the computer. It works for both Apple and Android phones. And look, it's got a couple of different features in it, but we'll go through it today. We are going to be retailing this at only $300, approximately Australian dollars. And, you know, that's about half the price of all the other dash cameras with similar features out there on the market. And, and the reason is we're not going to be wholesaling this. We're actually the importer direct to market for this to keep the price down. And that allowed us to be super competitive because I think everyone in the market should have a crash camera or dash camera these days. Uh, but let me run through some of the features that it's got. Now, this is called the Nafu is the brand. Uh, Nafu Plabo, okay? Now, this is actually made in Korea, and that is the same as all your popular dash cameras out there, such as Thinkware or Blackview, because Korea actually makes some really high-quality dash cameras, so much, much, uh, a little bit different to China. China ones are a little bit cheaper, from my experience. I've actually visited a lot of factories in China when we're looking for a dash camera. Now, this is a really, really stylish dash camera. So it's got a completely adjustable view here. So this would be your front windscreen and it's gonna be very discreet. It is directly in the middle rather than to the side as some of the other dash cameras out there would be. It has these little LED lights here for indicating when it's recording. The system has on the back of it a couple of different things. So you have your voice control, so you can turn your mic on and off. You can manually turn the whole camera on and off, but it'll also turn on when you turn your vehicle on. It has manual recording, much like all your other dash cameras out there. And it'll actually be recording every time you drive anyway, but it also has Wi-Fi with a really, really cool app. And we're gonna run you through the app a little bit later, but we're gonna quickly unbox it and show you everything that you're gonna get. Now, this is the rear camera. Again, these are full HD rear camera, so it's a uh, you know very discreet, very small camera when you compare it to things out there. Um, I don't have much to compare it with right here to give you a bit of perspective. Um, do you have a phone on your ass? Is your phone in your pocket? Let me give you an idea on size. So what is this, is it a Samsung? Yeah. So this is a Samsung S8. So to give you an idea on size, on perspective there, they are very, very small in terms of the footprint of the actual camera. So that gives you an idea. That's not the, that's not the plus, that's the smaller S8 there as well. To give you a bit of idea on size, guys. Now, this is really cool. So it really has a high quality image at night because it's using a Sony Starvis image sensor and it uses a Sony Exmor image sensor on the rear that really gives it high quality uh, nighttime footage. It has a really small cable for running front to rear. A lot of them out there use a micro, um, micro USB, but this is actually gonna use a 3.5 mil jack um, to run from front to rear, making the cable running very, very easy for you guys out there. And on this, most of the cameras out there, in order to get the motion detection, which just has a motion detection built into it, so when you leave your car, it can actually record and um, detect any, it'll light up and record at night when someone walks past it or a vehicle runs into your car or drives past your car. Um, but you need to have this, this is a hardwire harness, which allows it to power up overnight. Now, this is actually gonna be included in the kit. So it's actually not gonna be an optional extra because you really need that in order to take advantage of that motion detection. And let's be honest, half the time when you're not at your vehicle, that's when you wanna get your footage covered, okay? Um, it has built-in power management as well. So you don't need any external power management devices that are gonna uh, make sure it's not gonna flatten your battery overnight. It'll actually have internal power management. You can actually adjust it through the app. We'll show you some of the app features very shortly. Um, it's also gonna come with an SD card. So they start at 16 gigabytes, but they do go up to 256 gigabytes if you're running a high quality SD card. Okay, so this is actually the box that it actually is gonna come in. It comes very neatly packaged that shows you a lot of the different features out there. Uh, this is a cool thing about this camera as well. It has a CO2, a carbon dioxide sensor, which is an optional extra, which is actually in this box here. You don't have to have this, but it's a little sensor you can mount 
inside your vehicle and that'll detect if there's a lot of carbon dioxide in your car because on long trips that can make you drowsy and it'll actually alert you if uh, it's, it's really high inside your vehicle because a lot of us drive with the windows closed with AC these days. Um, so that's a cool add-on you can actually plug into this system. Um, we're going to give you a look at how that plugs in. Um, so this will actually just plug in DC power. Sorry, I'm going to plug it in. I'll show you from the front. But it's very discreet and very neat there. So you can see the design is really, really cool. Um, if you get on the rear camera, it'll end up plugging in like that. So you actually can see when you mount that on your front windscreen, they're going to go up to your hood lining and it's going to mount very discreet and neat together with complete adjustability. So that's kind of a cool camera. Um, like I said, it's not going to be expensive. It's going to be, I think we're going to sell it for $299 direct to the public plus your freight. Uh, that will change a little bit over time depending on US dollar as we import them. Um, these are some of the extras you can actually add on. You can actually add on a GPS receiver if you want to mount that up the top of your windscreen as well. And that will actually do speed stamping and overlay, GPS overlay on the map in the browser on your PC or Mac. Um, there is a PC viewer, there is a Mac viewer. You can download them for free on our website or also nafu.com.au is the website with all the details and more specs on the camera. Um, the cigarette lighter, you can power it off your cigarette lighter. We are gonna make this an optional extra because you really need to be using the hard wire kit and power it up to your um, ignition, your battery and your earth in order to run the motion detection or it has time lapse overnight. So cigarette lighter is really an option because you should be powering it off your main fuses or your battery in the vehicle. All right, so let me run through quickly what you get in the box. Um, the app is unbelievable. And uh, I'm gonna check to show you that in a sec, but it was really hard for us to find a good quality uh, dash camera out there without the price, but this is it. So like I said, the Plabo, it is a discrete two channel. You can run it as a single channel. It's gonna come with this quick DIY guide or sorry, user interface or user guide for you guys. Very, very, um, easy to use, straightforward, got all the specs in it. It is 12 or 24 volts, so you can use it on your truck. Um, if you wanna use it on a truck, uh, there's a preview of what the viewer on your computer would look like. So I'll try and bring that in a little bit closer. Um, in order for the apps and everything, you can actually share directly on the app uh, any of your videos. So you can edit it on your phone and you can actually see previews of the app viewer and things like that. It's really intuitive and easy to use. I'm gonna show you that um, in just a moment. I'll edit it into the video. This is how it comes. Nicely and neatly packaged, okay? It uses a black 3M tape across the top. We specifically requested a black tape so it wasn't a gray or anything to make it even more discreet for you guys out there. So we were able to, you know, request a few changes on manufacturer, which is good. Um, it has been heat tested as well for the Australian market, so it has a really high uh, heat tolerance, okay? So we actually checked that because some dash cameras have an overheating issue. Uh, this specifically doesn't because a lot of the air venting and everything that's actually built into it to stop that from happening. It has its FCC compliance and all those uh, radio interference and compliance as well. Um, it's gonna come with the SD card and SD card reader is actually gonna be included. And as you continue to open this up, so it's neatly packaged. It weighs about 500 grams of the front and rear camera together. You're gonna get a spare tape if you ever need to change the vehicle. So we requested that for you guys. Like I said, hardwire kit is actually included, no extra cost. Uh, most kits out there charge you about 50 bucks for that alone, which is, I think, absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's gonna come with the front, the rear cable, and the rear camera. And again, we requested black tape on that for you guys to make sure it was very, very discreet. We wanted to make sure this camera was a really good looking camera, really high quality. So we've been testing this for a few months now. We finally have stock in limited numbers. Uh, we are shipping this all around the world as well. So they'll probably sell out really quick, but we got regular shipments of these coming into the country. But let's show you the app on this quickly. And I'm gonna talk you through that quick and check it out on our website, Carbon Car Systems. Or if you like, you can go to Nefu, which is N-E-F-U com.au to see some more features on it. So this is actual brand here. Um, look, been testing for a while guys and that is one of the most high quality cameras I could find to release to you guys on the market without compromising uh, on the features and things out there, but still making it really affordable for everyone to be able to have a high quality dash camera. Now we have a ton of them, so this is just some of them. We've got a heap more, but if you have any questions, contact us at uh, team at carboncarsystems.com.au and uh, we'll give you some more information on that.
Just to compare guys, uh, so I thought I'd give you a bit more of an information here. I'm gonna actually do an installation video on our YouTube channel at Carbon Car Systems. Uh, if you wanna check that out as well, we're gonna be posting, this is a bit of a review video, bit of an unboxing, but I'll show you an installation as well to show you how to do it. Um, to give you a bit of reference, so this is a Thinkware F770. So this is one of the most popular dash cameras in Australia. Pretty much the same um, specs and features. Uh, I, mean, I think the Nafu has a lane departure warning, whereas the Thinkware actually has ADAS warning, which is um, advanced driver warning system. So it will actually do uh, alerts on front collision, whereas this one won't do the front collision, just lane departure collision. Um, but look, there's a size difference to give you an idea. That's a Thinkware F770. Um, that would mount on the front windscreen like that, and this will mount like that on the front windscreen. So that, that's a bit of a comparison for you. Um, the Thinkware has been a great dash camera for us. We've sold tons and tons of those, uh, but it does come in a bit more expensive. I think we start these at about $500. They end up selling sometimes up to $699, depending on the SD card size. But ours we're gonna be doing uh, a lot cheaper to make it affordable, because we're just cutting out the wholesale middleman. We're not gonna distribute to other stores. It's gonna get direct to public for you guys. Um, makes it much, much more affordable. Doesn't blow out the price. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown through the app that we have on the, uh, for this dash camera. It's called Nefu, N-E-F-U. You can download it on the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna step into the car and you're actually gonna hit the Wi-Fi button. And then you're gonna pair it up via Wi-Fi. So there's a little button on the dash camera and you'll see here in the center, it's actually connected to the camera now. Now, once you're actually connected via Wi-Fi, the password is one through to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can do all sorts of things like live view the camera itself. So you can see here, we're actually adjusting the front camera. You can switch it around to view the rear camera. That way you can actually adjust the angle as you see fit so you can get the most viewing angle out of your front and rear cameras. Now on this screen, you also can change the image from left to right, depending on the perspective that you do want. You'll see the left to right button down there on the very bottom and you'll actually see the front and rear. We can switch between the two here. So there's the front and back of the vehicle. So if you do go into the settings, um, you can actually connect it via the Wi-Fi. Actually, I'm flicking back here, going through the file viewer so you can actually see some of the recordings we have here. It will separate into different sections, which is your all day, everyday driving, your event recording, and your parking mode. So parking mode is your overnight motion detections. The event recording is anything that has a shock detected as well, like harsh braking or an accident, and those files don't get overridden. But as you can see here, you can also get a history log. There's all sorts of different settings that you can actually play with. You can do, you can adjust the image quality, you can do the power saving, um, you can adjust that on there so it's not gonna flatten your battery overnight. Um, you can uh, adjust how long it's gonna take before it cuts out or how long it monitors that power for. Um, whether you have parking mode or time-lapse mode, so parking mode will actually be motion detection overnight. If you want, you can do time-lapse, which will actually be uh, snippets all throughout the night, every couple of seconds. Um, so we quickly just reset the app there because we did change the image quality. We're gonna run you through quickly some of the settings that you can change. It does have a built-in shock sensor, so you can actually adjust how sensitive that is. Um, you can change if you record the voice, the speaker volume, because it actually does talk to you when you turn the unit on. Um, you can change your timestamps and everything like that. It does have four different languages as well. It'll run Korean, Japanese, English, and I believe, uh, Chinese, but we might see that in a second here in language. Change it from miles per hour to kilometers um, per hour. You've got a security LED on it. You can turn on the Wi-Fi, change the name of the Wi-Fi, change the password, do upgrades to it all through the app. So that's one of the most valuable things about this, uh, you know, this app is that you can actually change everything in the car, download footage, you can actually adjust it and share footage directly from the app. It actually has a live share. Um, feature, as you can see, I think in the, once you actually go through the actual card and have a look at some of the footage you filmed, you actually can share it. Um, but yeah, look, it's, it's very, very adjustable. And as you can see here, tons and tons of features that you can adjust yourself. So you really don't need to pull the SD card out constantly and plug it into your computer to actually um, change any settings. So you can actually self-format it in the app as well. 
So it is very, very easy to use. All right, guys, so that's it all installed. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start it up and show you how it would actually boot up in the vehicle. And here we go. It'll actually talk to you. It says starting the system. So you can actually adjust the volume. Sensory recording mode. So that will actually talk to you. You can turn the volume up in the app. But there you go, very nice and discreet. Let me just turn the stereo down for you guys with the GPS. And you have a couple of different things here. So you've got the Wi-Fi on on the right, very simple manual recording if you want to record something that you don't want wiped over and voice so you can turn on and off via the microphone if you want to keep your privacy and don't want to hear any voice information uh, on your recordings. You can actually manually turn the system on and off as well without unplugging the plug because this is an on and off switch. And there is the rear camera at the rear of the vehicle that will automatically come on. So we'll actually show you from the outside, but what we're gonna do quickly is show you how to connect it to the app firstly. So just focusing there a little bit so you can actually see it. Um, that's the Wi-Fi in the side there. And you would see a little bit there, just right on the right hand side is the SD card. All right guys, so we're gonna show you how to connect to it uh, quickly. What you're gonna do is you go to the Play Store on the Android phones, but on the Apples, just go to the Apple Store. Uh, we're gonna to go to the Nafu app, and then you're gonna go through to Nafu Plabo, which is the Wi-Fi connection. Once you've actually touched or touched that button, that Wi-Fi button, it's gonna ask you for the password. And the password is from memory one to nine. You can actually change it once you've actually connected. Go as she starts to connect. Oh, incorrect. Sorry, let me correct myself. It might be one to eight. And there we go. Hopefully that one works. Here we go. Connecting. There we go. Checking for quality internet. So it's not going to have any internet because it's actually on the phone itself and you're just connecting to the system. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't need Wi Fi. And here we go. You'll actually see on the app that it says. Plabo connected. You can go through and check the live viewer.